if you walk away from this meeting today and you don't learn anything, you've got to learn what I'm about to bring up. And it just doesn't only apply to politics. But in politics, it is an absolute rock solid, do not ever under any circumstances break this rule. One word, integrity. Integrity. You have one currency and one currency only in the New Hampshire legislature. And that is your integrity. When you hear and read about, go to the national here for a moment, some prostitute from Louisiana, and I can't think of her in any other context, that sold her boat in the Senate for $300 million, and another knucklehead who sold his big boat so that Nebraska would not be included in this healthcare stuff. All I can think of is prostitutes, I'm sorry. <laughs> what did they lose? They made a lot of money for the state. They took care of their constituents in Nashua. Nashua does, I mean, uh, Nebraska got them out from underneath the, uh, the thing. They lost their integrity and they'll never get it back, ever. When you say you're going to do something, I'm not talking about legitimate mistakes here. You know, yeah, I'll help you out on the bill, but I never read it. I read the bill and said, oh my God, I can't support that. <clears throat> All right, that's a mistake. You go to the person, this is integrity, you go to the person and you say, Dennis, I told you I was gonna support you on the floor with that bill. I told you I was gonna support the bill, but I didn't know what was in it, and I just read it, and I gotta tell you right straight up, my friend, there's no way in hell I can support you and help you out on this one. But there'll be other times and we'll work together on other things. That's integrity. That's honesty. That's telling him maybe a negative thing you're telling him, but I mean it's straightforward, it's honest, and now he knows exactly where he stands. If you go up there and say, hey Dennis, I'm gonna support your bill. I read the bill, huh, terrible, terrible. Can't support that. And it says, you, you support me on the bill, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You can count on me. I'm nothing but a lying slug. But I know I'm not gonna support him on the bill. That's integrity, that's honesty. And I'll tell you, you get one shot at it in the state house and then you're all done because everybody's got your number. You're finished. Oh, they'll be nice, they'll smile, they'll invite you to their barbecue, they'll do this and that and the other thing, but they won't trust you as far as I can throw my pickup truck with me sitting in it. Are you going to, and this happened to me, invite it into the speaker's office, sit down while we recognize the libertarians and blah, blah, blah. And what committee would you like? Oh, well, I thought ways and means. Go where the money is. Blah, 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 back and forth. And then finally he says, the speaker says, um, that ways and means committee is a delicate committee. Um, the governor is going to be coming through with a couple of tax proposals. We figure that the voting on those bills will be very, very close and be very, very critical. And what I would like to ask is, could you have the Libertarian contingent back the governor's tax proposal? I said, Mr. Speaker, I really appreciate <clears throat> You recognize the caucus. I really appreciate the fact that you're in here asking me and us uh, what committees would like with the intention of putting, putting us 
on those committees. As if the bottom line is, no way in hell am I going to support a tax increase. And it kind of looks like, what's your second choice? <laughs> Turned out to be criminal justice, at least when you're dealing with the criminals, you know where they're coming from. It was the damn prosecutor, the dirty general, I had to keep an eye on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to repeat, if you do not learn anything from this day, from this gathering, integrity, the integrity of your word in the legislature is absolutely unbreakable. You cannot break your integrity, your word of honor, what you said. Now you can say, I don't know. Well, I think that's a good issue, and I'm kind of on board with it as an issue, but I'm not really sure. You got a couple of funny co-sponsors there that I'm a little curious about where they're coming from. That's perfectly all right. You're being honest. You're saying what needs to be said. And the other person knows exactly where you stand. And whether he says anything to you or not that day, after you've done that three or four times, not just to him and his bill, but the other members of the house and the reputation starts to go around, people then have a different mindset. They want you to be their friend. They want you to help out and assist them in their legislation. It was not unusual for us to side with the Democrats on some issues because we believed in the principles. But the main point here was, when we said we were going to do or not do something, everybody in the house knew you could take it to the bank. We were not going to be bought off, we were not going to be scared off, we were not going to get a nice parking spot from the speaker's office, we were not going to be given a committee chair, assistant chair, clerk, we were not going to give all the little baubles and trinkets and so on and so forth. We were founded and based in freedom and liberty and the Constitution. And by God, we were not going to move and you had our word. So, 